we got bumble bumble bumbleberry honey blueberry ale. Look at this fat head right there. <laughs> got Alicapel blueberry. Hey man, uh, I got two beers today. A uh, couple guys said they wanted me to do a taste test, so I'll do it. I got uh, blueberry wheat ale from Ellicottville Brewing Company. Looks like it's a 4.8% uh, malt beverage uh, brewed with blueberries. I got a bumbleberry honey blueberry ale, award winning apparently, from uh, Fathead Brewery. And uh, this one's a 5.3%. Bumbleberry. <laughs> Ellicottville blueberry. Bumbleberry. Not yet. You see blueberry? So I'll start with the uh, Ellicottville. A lot of blueberry right off the front. Um, but definitely that wheat Hefeweizen too. You get a little bit of the wheat towards the end, uh, but right off the tap uh, was definitely blueberry right there. Um, but still has a beer flavor, not too fruity as far as... Yeah, it still has a beer flavor. It's not sweet, it's not like a seltzer by any means. It's still a beer, but just has a little blueberry flavor to it and it still holds that wheat uh, signature taste. Let's give it a shot. Cool. What, well, sip, sip, chug, is that the play? Yep. First impressions off the sip, decent. Fruity. Honey blueberry, can taste the honey, can taste the blueberry. Not a chug of blue beer. Get as much blueberry from that Ellicottville. Definitely get more blueberry in here. What do you guys think? It kind of tastes like bubblegum. It needs some blueberries though. <laughs> this one kind of tastes like, I don't know, bubblegum. We'll give it bubblegum. That one's totally blueberry though. I feel like this one's more bitter where that's a little sweeter. Yeah, this one's definitely sweeter. Okay. They kind of taste similar though, regardless of the flavor. Under the Bumblebee, award winning. Let's see what we got. Different. Not what I was expecting when compared to the blueberry. So, not a blueberry right off the top. Um, definitely beer first. Um, with a taste of more of the honey and kind of uh, berry flavor, maybe not blueberry, but uh, something. Um, but a, more beer and honey on this one, whereas this one definitely holds the blueberry flavor. What do you think of it? It's pretty good. It's definitely like not overpowering and fruity taste. So I feel like Elkaville does a good job with their like, fruit flavored beers. And what's this one? This is the uh, Bubbleberry award winning Fathead Brewery. It's tough. It's very crisp. What does that one taste like? I feel like it's almost got the same taste as Ellicottville with a blueberry, like small hint, and it's not overpowering, but this is more like crisp. I feel like it's literally like if you want crisp or you want smooth, which kind of beer do you like? If I'm putting a number on it, five out of ten. Thank you. Seven point seven. This one kind of tastes like this is like the cousin that nobody wants to see at the family party. This is like the guy that shows up every two years that you're fired up to see. Yeah, I'm taking this all day. Awesome. All day. 
Um, I love Ellicottville because I went there when it first was like established, like after camping. And I love that brewery. I go every single year. <laughs> so maybe this one because it's right near me and I love it. And I go every year. You're a homer. <laughs> this one's also cool. cool. not bad, but I will probably always like support it. Um, me personally, if I was gonna pick one in, in, in the sense of a blueberry taste, I'm going with the Ellicottville Blueberry Wheat. Uh, great beer here, but uh, doesn't hold the name. If I had to pick, I'd probably go with the Elkinville Blueberry. Not being impartial to, you know, Elkinville and not, you know, there's stuff in Cleveland or wherever, but this is definitely the way to go. And which one do you go with? I would go with Elkinville Blueberry. I love Elkinville Blueberry. Both Elkinville? Yeah. We're going with Elkinville. All right, guys. All the way. Thanks for helping us out. Thanks. Enjoy. Thank you. Do you keep the rest of these? Yeah. yeah. We're not going to reuse them. <laughs> What's, being from Buffalo, we don't really sip anything, so it didn't really, the flavor didn't quite hit my tongue the way that we do it here, so I'm going to have to take a little taste here. Definitely blueberry there. Um, now this one though, maybe it's got a blueberry in, in the end of the can. No blueberry there. Ellicottville still wins. And the winner is Ellicottville Brewing Company. Blueberry wheat. Subscribe!